gonna speak in your horrible British accent all night, aren't you? Silence! I am the Game Master for the evening, and therefore, I will speak as I please. Enter, my good sirs. Not again. Rebecca, I thought you told me that Ben was done with this D&D shit months ago. He lied to me too. I don't know what you want me to say, guys. Ben, you messaged me. We were gonna go see Nano Zombie 7. There are far more pressing matters at hand, Sir Louis of the Cedar Realm. Hey guys. Hey, Rebecca. Why is he here? Well, I do recall that for many a moon you have secretly lusted over our dear friend Joey, and I failed any such attempt at making a move on him. He's been single for a few months now, and, and this evening wasn't just meant to continue our quest, but it was also meant to complete your quest for love. This is ridiculous. You know I get massive anxiety when it comes to unexpected guests, and especially when it comes to Joey. I don't have time for this shit. Your breath most certainly does. And besides, our dear brother Joey would love to embark on his first session with this talented and skilled ensemble of warriors. Hey, Rebecca. Wait a minute. Joey's never played with us before. How are we going to get him into the story? resumes after our epic battle against the slog bogs through the perilous jungles of Fedoria. You are all now traveling down a trail, ascending to a castle in the distance. And suddenly you are greeted by a level five bard no, Naz. Uh, Joey? Joey? <laughs> That's your real name, dude. You have to come up with fantasy. Name. Uh, no, uh, Edward? Sir Edward? Sir Edward of. Uh, of Transyl Village? Of Transyl Village. Okay, yeah. Sir Edward of Transyl Village. Wow, Ben. What a real great entrance to Joey's character. And suddenly you are all ambushed by a zombie elf! Jeez, Ben, again? <sighs> yeah, Ben, you had us fight these guys the last time. And the question now is, what are you all going to do about the zombie elf? You know what? I'm just gonna roll to shoot this thing in the face. Four. A four? Ooh, that, that will, oh, you miss badly and it ricochets and comes back to hit you in thy backside. I'm gonna attack the zombie with a mace. Roll the d20! A d20? A 20-sided dice. The higher the roll, the better the outcome. Just don't roll a 1. Just roll the 16. With a plus 7 with your enchanted mace? <laughs> oh yeah, she's dead. And with your mace, you hit it over the face! Ooh! Ooh. And not only that, you beat it to a bloody poop! With that, danger has been averted for now. What do you group of warriors do next? 
Uh, head off to the castle, I guess? Onward. So what do you think so far, Joey? It's pretty fun, Ben. Huh? A little easier than I was expecting. Oh, well, yeah? Well, our group of travelers continued down the road to the castle, when suddenly... It's the evil sorceress Trafelda. Ooh, evil sorceress. Roll for initiatives! What? Roll for who will be attacking first. Oh, okay. Four. Nine. Seventeen. Fourteen. And now... Let us see what the sorceress will roll. Damn it. Well, then it looks like the sorceress will be attacking first. Everyone, uh, make sure to check your character sheets for your weaknesses and your modifiers. Oh, cool. It lights up on a 20. It does? My lady, I... I believe the D&D convention is until next month. Oh, oh my mantis! Shut A stasis shield? This witch is powerful indeed. What the hell just happened? Ben, what did you do? Seems like such a good deal. Good sir. Oh my. Would you like to purchase the most beautiful enchanted dice you've ever laid eyes on? That is nice. And shiny. And it could be yours for $20. 20 That'll go quite nicely for tonight. <laughs> but, whatever you do, don't roll a one. <laughs> of course, man. Have a good one. Two dollars? You gotta be shitting me! I should have listened to that old gaffer's advice. What are we gonna do now? We have no choice but to use this once again. This is some Jumanji bullshit. We are not using that again. But what, what other, other choice, choice do you have, my more? child? Do you know how long I've waited for this moment, Sir Benjamin? All these times, your party hath evaded my wrath, but no further. Oh my, my... Lady Sorceress Drifelda, you are as beautiful as the day I first wrote you as the main villain in our campaign. I suppose I should be thanking you for my conjuring. However, your attempts at flattery will get you nowhere. Except to your demise. Not if I kill you first! No, wait! Dear. What? Grab your character 
sheet. Seek to have some kind of remedy or ability to eliminate the evil sorceress. Um. Why am I frightened of you? You're my creation. I, I easily brought you into this world and I can just as easily take you out of it. The evil sorceress Trafelda has suddenly a, a change of heart and decides to let us all live and return back to her own realm. Better roll for it, I suppose. Stoned before. <laughs> oh, this is all too amusing. <laughs> I'm going to cast two of my remedy potions to counter your spells on my friends. And I'm going to attack you with my sword that is enchanted with the flame of holy light. My goodness, you slain the evil sorceress with a nat 20. Incredible. Nice move, Rebecca. Has anyone seen my pants? Quite the display of heroics, my fellow companions. Despite the demise of our dear friends Matt and Louie, I'd say our quest was quite the success. Nice sword. Nice sword yourself. Our guild may have vanquished the evil sorceress this day, but beware, my lords and ladies, for evil still lurks in the darkness, and we shall always be there, standing vigilant and prepared to take out any foul beast that gets in our way. And after such an epic night of battling as this, I believe I should give ourselves a new name for our next adventure. Therefore, from this moment henceforth, we shall be known as the Knights of Cascadia. That Our name, name sucks. sucks. Let's roll for it. No! no! Ha, 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 ha.